After months of sampling rental tapes all over Portland, the film security agents of the motion picture industry marched into Movie World on Northeast Sandy Boulevard this afternoon. A U.S. Marshal presented the manager with a writ of seizure and impoundment. That empowered the officials to confiscate all the videotapes they believed to be copies, that is, illegally copied from the original motion picture releases. The film agents found 129 apparently illegal tapes here. When the owners of Movie World were summoned, their explanation was that they had not copied the movies, but that is the way they purchased them from a distributor whom they would not identify. The label on the tape says it is from Videotech, a distributor unknown to the motion picture companies. But even some of Movie World's customers were suspicious. Tape was, uh, they were okay, the, the quality was okay except for the first part of the one movie. It was uh, real fuzzy. For the afternoon at least, Movie World closed its business. Film security officials say a retailer doesn't have to know he is renting a pirated movie. Doing it unknowingly under civil law still allows a $10,000 penalty. $50,000 if you do it on purpose. And rental tape piracy is apparently a sizable part of the problem. Uh, retail stores that are actually the ones who are duplicating the authorized cassettes for their rental programs. Uh, and the problem is uh, it's nationwide. It's not limited to any particular area. The problem certainly isn't isolated to one store in Portland. The film security raid moved on to Video World at 189th and East Burnside. Here they picked up a couple of dozen more fraudulent movies. The seizure order also allowed the confiscation of equipment which might be used to duplicate the tapes. Several video recorders were impounded as well as a big screen TV. The film security office estimates the movie makers lose $700 million a year to video piracy. Those who are caught are usually turned in by customers who spot poor quality tapes or by other video retailers who don't like their prices undercut by the pirates. The two stores hit in Portland, Oregon today are the first in a long chain of alleged video pirates, which the film security office says it will raid across the country soon. Randy Ripplinger reporting, Channel 2 News.